First of all, apologies guys, not had any videos out in like two weeks. The flu has struck me down, I couldn't really speak properly for a bit. Also been quite busy, and yeah, that's basically why I haven't done a video in a while. But here we go back with another one. As you may have noticed over the last couple of weeks, David Beckham has actually now become part of the ownership at Salford City. It's a massive deal for the club. He's joined Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes, and Nicky Butt, otherwise known as the rest of the Class of 92, alongside Peter Lim, who's also the owner of Valencia. Those lot are the owners of Salford City. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you why David Beckham is the most important out of the lot of them and why this is a complete game changer for Salford City. So yeah, stay tuned to the end to find out why. This video is sponsored by One Football, and you can stay up to date with all things going on at Salford. Go through their Twitter feed via the news section. Stay up to date with all their results, league table, match lineups, etc. If you want to download it, link is in the top line of the description. So Class 92 purchased Salford City back in 2014. In the space of five years, they got promoted three times to go from the eighth tier to now being in the fifth tier. The ground has also been impressively upgraded from one that holds just over a thousand people to one that is now comfortably holding over 5,000 with 2,000 seats. So currently they're sitting right near the top of the National League and they have one of the highest attendance stats as well in the league. Fifth place in terms of the attendance stats of 2,516, which is still less than half of the likes of Leighton Orient and Wrexham, who've both got attendances of over 5,000. However, Salford have got insane social media followings for non-league. They've got 148,000 followers on Twitter, they've got 35,000 likes on Facebook and 88,000 followers on Instagram, which compared to the rest of non-league is only beaten by hashtag United. But anyway, moving back to the attendances, Salford want to build on those social media followings and build up those attendances to be at a point where they can sustain themselves in the Football League with a really big attendance base. Because it's all well and good having a really big social media following, and it is important to have a really good presence on social media as a football club now anyway. But it's financially, and in terms of financial fair play, getting revenue through the doors, in the Football League, moving forwards, it's really important to have good attendances. Because financial fair play, basically it just calculates how much you're allowed to spend based on the amount of money that you're bringing into the club. And having good attendances is a way of getting plenty of revenue into the club. And with the way that Salford have been spending money this season on players, on wages, their transfer fees as well are so high compared to the rest of non-league. And even moving to the Football League, it's above what League Two standard is really for a lot of the spending that they're having. Bringing the likes of Adam Rooney and Danny Lloyd in on £4,000 a week with insane transfer fees as well. You know, they've got to really rein that financial play, play in and, and to help that, attendances are important so that then they're allowed to spend more money without breaking financial fair play, basically. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. But basically, David Beckham is really important to bringing this all together and helping attendances rise, helping revenue rise. I'll explain why. David Beckham is arguably one of the most famous footballers in the world. Aside from Messi and Ronaldo, he's probably arguably one of the most famous behind those two because he's more than just a footballer, he's a global brand. His whole family are a global brand. David Beckham spent 11 seasons in the Man United first team. He also made over 100 appearances for Real Madrid. He was a big factor of the emerging popularity of the MLS during his time at LA Galaxy. Also when he went to Paris Saint-Germain, he was there for a bit and donated all of his wages there to a local children's charity. He's just such a popular guy. He's bought a range of grooming products. He's done loads of charity work with UNICEF. He's done modeling as well as loads of other different things. Being on the TV loads, He's such a famous person and in my opinion as a whole global brand He's a lot more famous than the rest of the class of 92 are Beckham has also got 53 million Instagram followers That's absolutely crazy numbers and you could say that that's just gonna help grow their social media following even more than the fact that he's an investor and he's an owner of 10% of Salford is going to help their social media following grow, which then doesn't grow their attendances. But I think that their attendances will grow off the back of this. Because really, David Beckham, if he goes to matches, people are going to want to go there to see him. He's one of even people that are particularly interested in Salford or even interested in football. People are going to want to go and see him because he's a celebrity. So their attendance is being at just over 2,500 this season. That's actually a 56% increase on last season. So it shows that the popularity is growing and this is only going to help the popularity at matches grow even further as Salford push for the Football League. The other thing about him being involved is the fact that now Salford merchandise and that sort of thing, that could potentially be sold to people all over the world because David Beckham's involved, people might be more likely to actually purchase Salford shirts, merchandise, etc. 
which brings more revenue into the club and again helps with potential financial fair play problems that might exist in the Football League. And you might be thinking, why now is David Beckham getting involved in Salford but didn't at the same time when the rest of the class of were invested back in 2014? Well, that was explained at the time by Ryan Giggs. He said that he was too busy trying to be granted permission for his MLS franchise in Florida, which has now happened into Miami. They're going to be in the MLS in 2020, so the plans for that have progressed well. Now he's got more time to focus on other things and he can now focus on Salford. Because ultimately he did want to get involved in Salford initially. It wasn't a case of he had no interest in Salford. Salford is the same pull factor as the rest of the Class of 92 because it's where they all grew up when they were youngsters at Man United. They grew up in Salford and they want to help their local team essentially. Beckham's not originally from Salford, but because he grew up there, he says that it is a big part of his childhood. He said that my early years in Manchester were all spent in Salford. I grew up there in many ways. So to be able to finally join the lads and the club is a great feeling. It's a really special club with a special group of people. And you know, for me, this is such a huge thing for Salford. They've been so highly criticized because of the class nine team, because of Peter Lim being involved already. But I think this is only gonna step up that criticism. But I think it's just massive for non-league overall to have someone like David Beckham involved. Accredited Stanley owner Andy Holt actually criticized Salford for basically trying to steal a place in the Football League by their signings, which is quite a controversial thing to say, but you know, this is the sort of criticism that Salford face in. Because if an owner of a well-established Football League club is coming out and criticising your club for the way that you're going about things, it's a really negative thing. And with David Beckham joining, it gives more fuel to the fire of these sort of critics to criticise Salford. So all six of the members of the Class of 92 own 10% each, and Peter Lim owns 40%. Now there was a potential problem with Paul Scholes now going and becoming manager of Old Athletic in League Two. If Salford were to get promoted, they'd potentially be in the same league as the team that he is managing, which would create a conflict of interest. So what this conflict of interest has meant is that he's had to resign as a director, but he has maintained his 10% shareholding. Going by the rules and regulations, because he's got a 10% or lower involvement in the club, and he's never had an operational involvement at Salford. So not to the level of the likes of Gary Neville, who was at most of the games and had a lot of involvement in the team in terms of appointments, sign-ins, etc. Whether Beckham's impact will be operational or not, we will soon see. Anyway, there you have it. Let me know your thoughts on this situation in the comment section down below. Do you think that David Beckham is going to absolutely change the game for Salford? How huge is it for their progression to get him involved in the club as well as the rest of Class 92? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you just feel it, that like button and subscribe subscribe as well we're trying to get to 15,000 by the end of the season if you can help me get there that'd be absolutely awesome we'll have a new video coming out in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that turn notifications on so you don't miss it i hope to see you in the next video and thank you for watching